Once upon a time, in a bustling city filled with people constantly rushing from one place to another, there lived a wise and serene Zen master named Yuki. Despite the chaos and noise that surrounded her, Yuki had found inner peace through her daily practice of mindfulness and meditation. One day, a young and ambitious entrepreneur named Ethan came to Yuki seeking guidance. Ethan was highly successful in his career, but he constantly felt overwhelmed by stress and dissatisfaction. He had achieved great financial wealth, but it seemed to come at the expense of his peace of mind. Yuki invited Ethan to sit with her in a peaceful garden hidden amidst the tall skyscrapers. Surrounded by the soothing sounds of nature, Yuki began her tale. Once there was a wealthy businessman who owned a luxurious mansion overlooking a beautiful river. Despite his lavish lifestyle, the businessman was plagued by restlessness and an insatiable desire for more. One day, he heard rumors of a wise hermit who lived deep in the nearby forest. The hermit was said to possess the secret to true happiness and contentment. Intrigued by this notion, the businessman embarked on a journey through the dense forest to find the hermit. After days of wandering, he stumbled upon a small and humble hut where the hermit resided. The hermit, dressed in tattered clothes and wearing a peaceful smile, welcomed the businessman with open arms. The businessman, eager to learn the hermit's secret, asked, Tell me, wise one, how can I find true happiness and contentment? The hermit paused for a moment and then gestured toward the river flowing nearby. Do you see that river? The hermit asked. It is like the flow of life itself. Sometimes it is calm, and at other times it becomes turbulent. But it always moves forward, and it is ever-changing. Happiness, like the river, cannot be grasped or owned. It is found in accepting the flow of life and embracing the present moment. Ethan, just like the businessman, you have been caught in the relentless pursuit of external achievements, hoping that they would bring you lasting happiness. But true contentment lies not in the accumulation of material possessions, but in your ability to appreciate the present moment and find peace within yourself. Ethan listened attentively, absorbing Yuki's words. He realized that his constant chase for success had prevented him from truly experiencing the beauty of life. In that tranquil garden, amidst the chaos of the city, Ethan discovered a sense of stillness and inner peace. From that day forward, Ethan began to integrate mindfulness into his daily life. He cultivated a habit of finding moments of stillness amid the busyness, allowing himself to appreciate the small joys and embrace the challenges that life presented. As time went on, Ethan found that his work became more fulfilling, his relationships grew deeper, and his overall sense of well-being increased. He understood that true success was not measured solely by external achievements, but by the depth of his inner peace and contentment. And so, the modern-day Zen story of Ethan and Yuki serves as a reminder to us all. In the midst of the chaos and distractions of the modern world, we can find our own inner sanctuary of peace by embracing the present moment and cultivating mindfulness in our everyday lives.